Hello, may I speak to LaShawn, please? Uh, this is who this? This is Janet with Westmore Carriers. I seen that you had some questions on Facebook. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. West Westmore. Hold on, right quick. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah. Westmore. Okay. Westmore. Uh. We, all right. So we're an automotive. Culture. All right. So you Area. guys. Uh. So you guys are. Uh. Are a trucking company from where? Well, we have we have places all over. And where are you located? And I'll tell you. Well, I'm I'm located out of Ohio, but where's the main office at? Ohio. Oh, okay. So we have them in Rock Island, probably for Ohio, Chillicothe, Ohio. We um we run um, a route from Rock Island to Chillicothe, or from Chillicothe to Rock Island. Okay, but my my question is is like, where's the main office? Like, where are you guys located at? Well, we have terminals all over the place. Wait, what do you mean, main, main yeah, headquarters? I, yeah, I know that, but the main office. Out of much of, um, I would say our main office is out of Sugar Grove. Sugar, Sugar Grove. Illinois. Okay, so y'all out of Illinois. Yes. Oh, yes. oh. We have, we have terminals all over the place where we deliver um, automotive and agriculture parts. Oh, uh, okay. What but, are you what are you looking to, what are you looking for? Well no, I'm just asking uh I'm I'm just asking general questions. That's I mean the questions that I okay. sent you guys is is pretty much the questions that I was uh that I was asking. But being that I never I never heard of the company and you know, a lot of companies come in my Facebook feed looking for drivers and I'm like, you know, so I just wanna oh, get some I, I just wanna get a little bit more a little bit more background because oh. I take the information <laughs> Huh? Oh, okay, so I, I'll give you I'll get I'll give you the rundown on our company. So we are a um, we have a company that goes out to all of the dealerships and they get contracts with them to deliver their parts. That is called Lanter, and then from Lanter um, comes us. They contract us to go out and deliver all their freight for them. So that so our company delivers automotive and agriculture parts to. Um, dealerships all over the all over the United States. Um, we go as far as Fargo, South Dakota, or North Dakota, um, to Sioux Falls and Bismarck, um, South Dakota. Um, we have big terminals in Rock Island, Illinois, um, the Quad Cities, um, a couple of big ones in Manuka, Illinois, and we just deliver parts, um, straight trucks, uh, Class A drivers. Um, tractor trailer. Um, that's most of our business. Okay. So, what? Uh, so, what do you? Would, so, if I decide to come in with you guys, uh, what would I be driving? A, a straight truck or or a tractor trailer? Well, depends on your depends on your qualification. Um, do you hold the Class A CDL six, license? Six years. Six years. Okay. That's one of the qualifications for a tractor trailer is that you have at least three years verifiable experience driving a tractor trailer. Um, do you hold, do you have a current DOT medical card? Sure I do. Okay. That's another qualification. Um, our last, our, our, the, our other qualifications are that, um, we run your MBR, your uh, motor vehicle registration. Um, we run a background check and then we also have you do a pre employment drug screening. If all of those are clear and clean, then you can drive for us. So pre-employment drug screening, is that urine or hair follicle? Urine. Okay. Okay. So how much, uh, so, so experience, you guys is looking for what drivers with three years of experience? At least three. Yeah. It has to be at least three year verifiable tractor trailer. Okay, so, for, so all right, so for so for three so for a six year driver such as myself, what I'm looking at, the, yeah. what I'm looking at as far as pay, am I mad? Is you guys doing CPM or are you guys doing uh, salary or what? We do we do a daily rate on a ten ninety nine? A daily rate on a ten ninety nine. What's the daily rate? Depends on what route you take. 
that all the routes pay differently. We don't have one. I mean, we have some routes that pay exactly the same, but it depends on where you're going, how many miles you drive. Um, and then that, that pay is based on that amount. So what's so so, so ballpark it? What what would I be making on a day? Okay, so you're out of Chillicothe, Ohio. Um, wow. We have a route out of there. It's a team route. It's eighteen hundred dollars a team member to drive for us. So, so that's a week. Now, being an independent contractor, you take care of your you take care of your um, uh, taxes yourself. Um, we pay you um, what we call daily, but if you in a row, which we only work Monday through Friday, um, then you get paid a weekly rate. If you miss a day, you don't get paid a day. So I mean, let me let me you get, know, we don't have no benefit. Let, let me get this straight. So if I was to take the Tiller Coffee route, that you said that's a team route. So what you guys yeah. do I gotta come in with a teammate or you guys put me with somebody? Well we could try to we could try to match you up with somebody. It's always nicer if the, if the team is already established or you have somebody that you like to drive with. It is a little harder to match up guys, you know, so but we can do that. So what do you got? So what do you got on a solo? I don't have anything out of out of Ohio on a solo. Hmm. I got I got some routes out of I got a solo tractor trailer going out of Manuka, Illinois, um, that pays thirteen hundred dollars to run to Green Bay every day. Um, I have a, a a solo route out of um, uh, Joliet, Illinois. It runs from Joliet to Lansing, Michigan, every day, Monday through Friday, and that one pays fourteen hundred dollars a a week. So, being that this is a, uh, will we be will be if we get a assigned truck, will we be able to take the truck home, or do we have to bring the truck back and park it? You have to. Well, it depends on like Chilla Coffee. I. I think you guys need another team from North Carolina. Um, and so that team, North then Carolina. you guys would have your truck and you would meet them at a truck stop somewhere. So I don't know if you could, that one might be a, a take it home, you know, park it at home deal or leave it. There might be some place where they have you, you know, so, they have a contract. So this there. is, so, so ten ninety nine company driver, you you guys ain't you guys don't offer no benefits. No, you're an independent contractor of ours. Okay, so, so you truck and deliver our freight, but you're a you're an independent contractor to us on a ten ninety nine. Okay, so what's the what's so what's the so the home time is like what every weekend. Well, I mean, if you're a team, you know, you're not as home as long. I mean, you might get four or five hours a day at home, and then you're back in the truck and you're driving again. Um, but you are home daily. Even on a team route, you're usually home daily. At least, you know, so many hours, three, four, five hours. Just depends on what the route is. Uh, okay, okay. Um, what's, the, uh, what's, the, what's the equipment we'll be driving? What, what equipment that you guys have available? At least we lease from Ryder, so they're freight liners. Okay, so if we if so, this is tonight. We don't have to pay into, we don't have to pay into the truck, do we? No, no. Um, uh, you actually. So this is what we do on a ten ninety nine. We say we're going to pay you eight hundred dollars, uh, eight hundred or eighteen hundred dollars a week, um, on your settlement on your contract, it shows that you actually lease the truck, which you don't. Um, we just gross up your pay, deduct the lease of the truck and um, some workman comp insurance, and then we pay you your daily rate. That way, at the end of the year, when you get your settlement for the year, it will. Um, you can take that to your tax accountant and you can write off the truck like you're the one who leased it, mm. which is a really good deal. A lot of companies don't do that. Okay. So, okay, so ten ninety nine eight. Now you say eighteen hundred dollars a day or eighteen hundred dollars a week? A week for the oh. route out of Chillicothe. Okay, and how 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 is it how is it paid to me? The direct deposit. Yes, you when you get your contract, you're able to set up your your direct deposit. All right, that's so correct. So if I feel, you know, once I fill out the application, get approved and all that good stuff, I come, how, 
do I go to Chilla Coffee for my orientation or is orientation virtual? Um, your orientation would be probably um, a, I don't know if they would train you on the route. If someone would come and train you, that may be how they do it. They would, you know, send a driver and he would train with you for a couple of days. One of our lead drivers. Hmm. And they would show you the, you know, show you the rope. But okay. normally it's just, a, you're just a drop and hook. You go and take your, you take your freight and you drop, you meet somebody and you guys swap trailers and that's it. And then you take your empty back to, you know, and then the next day you go and get your load. You bring it back. You meet these people. Um, I'm, I'm kind of confused. Why, why, why would I need a team driver for this? Because it, you have to go all the way to Rock Island. Mm. Chill with coffee to Rock Island. Mm. That's a long way. You can't drive, you know, regulations. If you've been a driver for six years, you know. There's a regulation to how many hours you can drive in a day. No, I I already know that. I'm just saying that, you know, team team drive. We're home every day. Just I don't know, eighteen hundred dollars a week. Mm. Um, but um, Dude, that, like I said, I, 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 this is the this is what we got. Either you're interested or you're not. I, I, I mean, either way, I'm telling you the I'm telling you what I got and where I got it. Oh, oh okay, oh, okay, okay. I was just, just asking. That's all. I mean, if you guys coming at me like oh, coming at me like that, you know, I ain't mean, okay. Company. But thank you, thank oh, you, you, thank you, thank you for your time. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. You guys heard that, right? That will be a negative for this company. Um. Let's see. What is it? Westmore? Westmore? Yeah. That that would be a negative <laughs> for this company. Um hmm. 1099. Uh you have to run teams. You're only home for five hours <laughs> at the most. <laughs> Home daily for five hours and you're right back out. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. So if you guys, if you guys are interested in Westmore Carriers, uh, they're located out of Illinois. <laughs> uh, you guys know me. You you guys know me. I don't. I I don't. I. Don't. <laughs> It's, you know, I, I still give the company a benefit of the doubt. So if you guys are interested in Westmore car, uh, carriers, she says she's she says they're located out of Illinois. I, I forgot the the state or the, uh, the city, but she says that there are more um, more terminals. Um, you get paid. A daily rate that averaged out to about eighteen hundred dollars. So depending on where you're from, you know, she just gave me a ballpark of Ohio to wherever that was. And um, if you go on team, it's preferred that you bring your own teammate. If you don't have a teammate, they'll try to link you up with somebody that's compatible. Westmore Carriers, they came across on my Facebook feed. Um, they are a 1099 company, and they lease their trucks from Ryder. So just, this sounds more like, I don't know. I don't know. But if you guys are interested, their website is westmorecarriers.com. <laughs>